What is up guys, this is JG Andrew of the Droid Syndicate team, and today I present you a review on the free GS3 ROM for our Sprint Galaxy S3. Now this ROM was developed by Team Sonic, and Team Sonic is basically a group of people that just developed this ROM for us Sprint Galaxy S3 owners, and it's a very nice ROM. Now I'm just going to sort of read off all the features. So he says that there is no longer a fading ringtone when you receive a call. So when you receive a call, sometimes when you pick it up, it might fade. Well, it doesn't fade anymore, so you'll always hear it, so you won't think that they hung up or something. Second thing is that they implemented the home button lag hack, so they disabled S voice on the double tap so that it's a lot more responsive when you tap it. So for instance, if you go into camera, and you press home, it's pretty much instant. Usually it would take a few seconds to go back into it. They also say that you do have jelly bean animation. So if you go into internet, as you can see, it just did a jelly bean animation. Goes in and out, just sort of jelly bean-ish. Really nice. I love that. That's probably one of the major selling points of this ROM. And that's why I probably like it the most too. Go into Messenger, you can see it just sort of flows really nice just like how Jelly Bean does. They have a battery tweak so it looks like battery is going to be really good on this ROM. They do have an insane audio hack so sound is going to be 40% louder at least. They have awesome beats installed so if you go here it's sort of like a beats audio emulator that's how I like to think of it. Awesome beats you can edit your headset volume, your speaker volume, your Bluetooth volume and you can enable it, so if you don't want it, you can always disable it. But for now, I'm going to have it disabled. Next thing we got on the list is that he removed SMS logs from the call log. He actually enabled call recording, so you can now record your own calls. I'll probably have a demonstration in the video with that. And you also do have the 4N reboot mod, so when you hold down power and you press restart, you can see that you have four different options, reboot, hot boot, download, or recovery mode. So that's a really easy way to switch off those different modes. So if you just want to flash a theme, you can just go straight to recovery, and that's really easy. Next thing he got is that he blocked all of the ads, so no advertisements for us. That's probably really big too. That's a major selling point for this ROM as well. I do not like ads. I don't know anyone who actually likes ads. It's very stupid and boring. They have a CRT off animation, so when you press power, you can see it's a, actually a really fast animation too. And I also did notice that unlocking is very fast as well, which of course we always like. We always like fast stuff. And the cell standby bug is also fixed, so no more cell standby. That's always good to hear. Moving on, he made USB debugging um, automatic, so USB debugging is already checked so you can easily transfer files without going into developer settings and enabling it for yourself. So it's already checked, you're good to go to transfer files and that is pretty awesome. Now after using this ROM, I gotta say that it's very smooth. It actually does remind me of Sonic the Hedgehog from how fast it is. If you scroll through you can see it's sort of predicting what my finger uh, is doing so it it's almost like Jelly Bean. It feels like Jelly Bean. It almost feels like Project Butter. It's very smooth, very responsive, a lot better than any other ROM I've used, including Blazor ROM. This is very fast. Now if you go into your apps, you can see that you have Awesome Beats. Scroll over, you get Goo Manager, Super User, and looks like he did remove some Samsung stuff actually, so that's always nice. Now this one says Rolla YouTube. Rolla Tube. No idea what that is. Oh, so this is actually the old YouTube. So this is very this is very cool. So you actually get the old YouTube. That is pretty sweet. Let's actually see if it wants to update that for us. You can see that really nice jelly bean animation. And no, it doesn't look like it wants to update YouTube. So you can see there that we got the old YouTube app and we actually might be able to install a different one if we don't like that one. So let's say I want to go to my channel, add account, I'll be right back guys. Alright, so, uh, sorry guys, I tried to sign into YouTube, but it wouldn't let me sign in for some reason, so I might have to flash that other YouTube zip to actually get it to work. Now for some reason, it sort of did lag on me there, right? I think that's because it's tried to load up uh, the calendar app. 
But yeah, this is a pretty sweet ROM, really fast. Let's actually go ahead and run Quadrant. Let's see if there's any difference. Oh, I accidentally just clicked on that. Revolutionized the whole technology. So let's go ahead and proceed. And 4,823. So I'm not sure. The Quadrant sure does not even relate to the speed of the ROM. I don't know what's up with Quadrant. But yeah, this is freaking amazing. And all I can say is that I really recommend this ROM. Go ahead and follow my how to install video if you don't know how to flash a ROM. I will have it in the description. And if you can't even flash ROMs yet, then I'll have a link also on how to root this phone. And also big shout out to Persian Techie. He helped me get set up with Hyperlink. So now when I do those how to install videos, you guys won't have to see the glary pixelated screen. You guys can just see my full on screen and full HD quality. So yeah guys, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out my channel and look at my other ROM reviews, how to installs. There's definitely going to be more to come. A lot of development on this phone already. I am very excited for upcoming releases. And thank you Team Sonic for this ROM. This ROM is very nice. I'm probably going to be using it for my daily driver from now on. And this is pretty awesome. So yeah guys, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys later.